It's 1934, and the vaudeville team of Jerry Walker and E. Williams is about to break into the big time with their own coast-to-coast radio comedy show. Well, folks, we want to thank you for listening this past summer. We've really had fun. We sure have. But we'll say so long instead of goodbye. For starting in just six weeks, we'll be appearing on our very own program, Tuesday nights on another network. Wait, what? So be sure to check your local listings. Say goodnight, Eve. (laughs) Goodnight. But Eve threatens to quit so that she can return to college and finish getting her degree in psychology. Wake up, Jerry. This is my future. I'm done with comedy. But Eve, you can't just quit. I'm not doing another radio show. But her cousin has given all of her money to the local Communist Party and ignored letters from the IRS on back taxes. Going somewhere, comrade? Worse, a nosy newspaper columnist begins to sniff around, and even Jerry must prevent him from discovering that Eve is broke, brilliant, and inadvertently supporting the Reds. Yeah, I can break an item a lot of different ways. It all depends on whether or not the person involved cooperates. Cameron Byerly returns to Artisan to direct his second play with a hilarious mix of one-liners, crosstalk, and wild physical comedy. Running in the Red plays January 10 through the 26th, Thursday and Fridays at 7 p.m., and on Saturday with a 3.30 p.m. matinee. Make your reservations by calling 817-284-1200 or visit our website at artisanct.com. <laughs>